Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today, I think it's finally time to get around to something I've dreaded talking about because it is quite a sad little topic, quite a unsettling, just very depressing little topic that I've been avoiding. So if anybody who watches this video has been subscribed since 2021 and they've seen I made videos about a past kitten, that was a very big part of the channel at the time. Uh, that was uh, my kitten named Snickers. I believe at first her name was Gamey, and then it became uh, Precious. Then I think we finally stuck with Snickers because her color kind of represented like a Snicker bar, so we called her Snickers. Um, it's been a long time since she's been on the channel. Um, I think it was like a couple months before I, or maybe not even, maybe like a month or something before I moved into Matt's. I don't remember. It's been a while. But I think it's time people um, see her again, because it's been quite some time. But anyway, I have her over here now. So this is her as of 2023. So she's dead. I think it's quite obvious because this box contains her ashes. Um, let's talk about what happened to her so everybody can understand that I think it was better off for her on what happened. So it was around June of 2022. I was uh, having problems with my grandmother. I had poison ivy last year. Uh, things were really freaking rough, and uh, eventually I got to the point where I was like, all right, well, I contacted my buddy Zombie Virus, and I moved into his house, or his apartment for a little bit, and I tried to bring her with me, but she did not like being out of the house. Uh, she wouldn't eat, she wouldn't drink, she wouldn't even use the bathroom, she just stayed in the corner uh, for a super long period of time, and she wouldn't come out unless I had to reach in and grab her, she would just hide. So, uh, I said, all right, maybe I need to take her home. So I literally walked with this cat on my shoulders, scared shitless. She pissed on my shirt. She was scared shitless because of the cars. So I had to try to stay away from as many cars as possible. But eventually I got her home immediately right when she got back into the house that I'm currently recording in. Uh, she started eating. She ate some ham because we gave her a piece of ham and she had some cat food. And I said, maybe she's better off here. But I think that's like the start of something where she started to notice side effects of uh, something she caught that we've discovered. Uh, later on, uh, my little cousin hits me up. Uh, Ethan is his name. Ethan's been in a few videos. But he hits me up and he says, hey, I think something's wrong with baby. She's getting pretty small. And I said, she's normally pretty small. She was the runt of the litter. But he says, no, if you see her, you'll see what I mean. Uh, so one time I come over my friend Paige is living here and um, my little cousin's here and I go in to go see her. She's hiding behind a curtain. She looks up at me. I pick her up and I notice she's unusually light. Unusually. Normally when you pick her up she has like that perfect weight because she's already been a very light cat. She was very small. But this was unusually light. A little bit too light. Like I think it might have been a deadly kind of light. And I noticed she meowed at me in pain. So something was not right. Uh, she was very skinny. And fleas were attacking her very bad. It's like no matter how much you tried to wash her. You give her a bath. Uh, you, you, you even give her like a small flea collar or this or that. It just didn't work. The fleas were on her so bad. It was, it was absolutely terrible. Sad even. But one day. Um, I get my check. I'm living with my buddy still. And I have a choice to make. I am about to move out, regardless of the decision that I had to make. I can either get my own apartment, which I had enough money to afford, or I can try to save her because I was told by my little cousin on the day I had to make that decision, hey, she is definitely not okay. She is not. She's not good. So on the car ride with my grandma, we went to a place to get like a social security thing as proof I had income at the time because I was on social security for um, the place I wanted to get. I said, you know what? This cat means more to me than a new apartment. So let's go try to save the cat. Got home. 
Uh, anybody, I seen she was on the bed. Ethan was trying to take care of her, so was Paige. Whenever they'd pick her up, she meowed in pain. It was just terrible. She was not happy, and she looked super weak. She even had, like, a part of her eye, like, closed a little bit. It was not good. But then I picked her up, and she meowed for a minute until she looked at me. I think she knew who I was. She had a very close connection with me whenever I was around. So she just stared at me contently. Like, I was careful with her. She would only stare at me, even if I was carrying her. Anybody else involved, she just didn't want them carrying her. So, we get to the, um, because I think I had to take her to, uh, the vet. Yeah, I had to take her to the vet. We go there, and get, put her in, get her information in there, and I'm sitting in the room. My little, my grandma's sitting there with me, and, uh, they come in and say, uh, well, we have very bad news. Either you can put in, I think it was 1100 for a blood transfusion, which that might not even work, or you can have her put down, or you can just have her, I mean, you can have her put down in two ways. You can either have her put down or cremated, or uh, we can just send the cat home with you. Not like send home as in like, hey, she's going to be okay. No, she's going to be dead, so we could bury her. I don't know. I've, even though I had a bit of money at the time, I had around 900 bucks. My family was going to help me. So, cause I know I had enough for an apartment. I, um, I made the choice to put her down cause I only had 900 something. I didn't have enough to save her or even try. I hadn't, I didn't have enough. So I had to choose to put her down. I got a box and I spent $700 getting her put down. And having, uh, picking out the box and everything. It was worth it, because I still have her here with me. She's still my favorite cat. I miss her so much. Th there's a reason I didn't talk about it. I know I don't look sad. I'm not crying. I'm not, like, doing that shit on YouTube where people try to showcase emotions for sympathy. No, I'm sad. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not, like, gonna go all out on a limb and act like it's the end of the world, you know? People you love or animals or this or that, they, they come and go. They come and go. You can either let it beat you up, make yourself depressed and feel even worse, or you can smile knowing you had a chance to be with that being and you can move on knowing they were in your life. Uh, it's pretty much up to you, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm carrying on, doing the living for both of us now. I'm sure that's what she would have wanted, even though I have no idea what she wanted. She's a cat. But she's been uh, dead since August of last year, so we're getting... Uh, we're a little bit under four months away. No, actually, no. We're a little over four months away from it being a year because it was August 31st, 2022, she got put down. So, yeah, it, it's quite unfortunately quite sad. Uh, it was a pretty rough, rough time. And she was a good little kitty. She was. Um, but, yeah, that's that. So... That's all I really got to say. I'm not asking for likes or dislikes on this one. It's made out of respect towards the little fluffy feline that was in my videos. If you, I'm not going to link anything. I'm not looking back at past videos because I don't want to make myself sad. At least not after, not as of right now. I think right now in a better mindset would probably be a better idea to look at videos and stuff of her. But as of right now, I'm just not. I hope she rests in peace, whatever, wherever. Whatever the afterlife holds for her, or even if there is one, I don't know. Only time can tell. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, this is what happened to my little spicy, little fluffy baby. My little long, lengthy little kitty cat. That's what happened to her. She passed away. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.